electrolysis at work. Piston was in the electrolysis tank for almost, well, 24 hours. Uh, this time yesterday to this time today. Piston is perfectly re relieved of the carbon and, 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 and any oils and corrosions or rust. It's gone. No, no metal has been lost here. None. It, absolutely none. And, and as you can notice that the familiar, uh, whatever they call that thing right there, you know, that spiral thing, it's supposed to be magical. But it cleaned up quite well. Now we'll get some, we'll we get some oil on there, get some rings on there. Uh, the wrist pin is really tight in this one right here. Very, very good. Uh, among one of the best ones I have ever owned. The circus car engine. Says April on there, so you know, let's, let's open it up and see what it is. See, it's a, it's a, y'all see that? It's a, uh, the one or two. We got two of them. It's a, a cylinder sleeve for an M with a crack on it, big crack right there, and a, a lot of rust. It's got a crack down the side of it, all rusted inside the turbo bed. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's scrap arm. Uh, just, just take my word for it. A cylinder sleeve in this point right here, consider scrap on. And the letter, uh, I mean, you can fix that thing. <clears throat> you, you know, you can put a sleeve in it and use it. Um, but it's a really expensive repair is the reason. You can find a replacement cil cylinder in much, in much better condition, even to start one without the crack and then in the chip. But the letter, uh, if I may, let's see if I'm supposed to, uh, how are you supposed to do this? Uh, well, it's, it says in these part, and most know that I set, want to sell him, I'm assuming one of these, silver sleeve. And, 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 and up to now, uh, the, you know, I've got, I'm putting together about... <laughs> six or seven or eight of them, kind of in queue there. Um, so I need to keep the parts I've got now until I get a little further along and then I'll probably liquidate some of them. But, well, it says he don't mind having it boiled and sleeved, but he worry about what would happen at the rear with the repair. Well, if a, if a shop was what was capable of fixing this cylinder if they was capable of fixing it with a sleeve 
then they'll handle the whole job. You know what I mean? Probably weld back in here, machine it down, weld the crack, machine it. You, you know what I mean? If, if you're going to put a sleeve in it, then you would repair all parts of it. And it can be done, but it's cost. It, it's the cost involved in it. If you're comfortable with what all of that would cost, then by all means, repair that. Save one. Uh, but uh, I have two machines going to make one good and out of power. Well, horse trading. Um, let's say call him. And uh, it's Rick. Uh, Rick, uh, you, you know my view on uh, on this, uh, on that cylinder is... You know, just find a replacement, you know, in, in much better condition to start with. It would, you could find one on the eBay that was rusted but didn't have a chip or a crack at some reasonable price, unusable in its condition, and, and then you could put a sleeve in that one. Cheaper than you could weld this up and fix this. So, you know, it's one of them kind of calls. You know, it's one of them kind of, if, if, if it's got sentimental value or something you want to fix it, then you do it. If you don't, then you get a better one and... But, um, and that's one of the things I can't do is put a sleeve in a cylinder. I could, but I just don't have time. You know, I just don't have time. But thank you. Uh, it's interesting to see uh, the condition of some of the parts that we start with to restore one of these engines. I mean, here's a whole pile of broken parts. Some, something's wrong with all of these. Uh, in some manner, like these things right here, they'll get bit really quick and they're hard to straighten. But regardless, the, the what prompted this little in, in, in is a uh, Kenneth, the firm uh, Pennsylvania Slippery Rock, uh, Slippery Rock uh, Slippery. They're on. Oh uh, yeah, let's see, handwritten. That's pretty good. Um, well, he got a three horse pair and he has a, he has six, three horse pairs and one, one and a half. Anyway, he got a three horse pair from Mac Ontario. Uh, okay. Well, He's got some extra parts there, and boy, I sure do need them. You know what I mean? Uh, so, well, oh yes, this is this right here. Uh, uh, Ken, uh, email and all that right there, you know. Uh, but. <clears throat> Right here is what he's referring to. This this was found in a plastic bag in the hopper. And he done sent me a copy of it. Let's see what it is. It's uh, it's a it's a serial number, your your index thing. From uh, well that's Ray Miller and some printed that and up. It's about LA's and LB's antique uh, gas engine tractor magazine. You know what's interesting? Uh, but you can go by this this chart here, and it's common on the internet now. Uh, you know, you just type in serial number list, and there it is. Right, you'll get a picture of this. But that's interesting. I'm gonna put that on the wall over for handy references. Uh, thank you, uh, Ken, for sure, man. Uh, tractors and all. <clears throat> we'll get that on the wall. And I got some boxes. I got a couple boxes down there. It's time to get them open. You know, we'll drag them up here and open them up. You know, we'll get to that tomorrow. We'll get that tomorrow.